they're obviously a really good team. And I, and I think I remember sitting up here, um, you know, after, after game one or game three, we played them and I'm like, they're going to be just fine. Right. Like they just have to grow. Uh, they're young and then they've got to figure it out and they've got to learn to play together. And they have, um, you know, they're, they're playing incredibly well. Um, you know, certainly when you, when you talk about the job that, that, that Kelsey and Caitlin have done from a perimeter standpoint, I mean, they're, you no, know, a, a backcourt combo that is really tough to match up with. And then you have Aaliyah Boston on the interior, certainly what Melissa brings and, and, and Lexi Hull from an energy standpoint and knocking down shots. They're playing really confident basketball. They're playing well together. Um, they're a tough matchup. And, you know, Becky, Becky Hammond had it right. Like you can't outscore that team, right? You got to be able to, to lock down defensively. You've got to be able to um, give them different looks because they're smart players. And, um, and when they get a beat, they're going to pick you apart. So we got to be able to give them different looks. Um, we we got to be locked in and we got to be consistent for 40 minutes. You know, Christy's done an outstanding job um, with that group and, and, and they've continued to stay the course. And I, it's a lot of credit to, to their maturation um, and her leadership. What do you feel like you guys learned from that loss that you had in the second half of the season to them um, coming into a, a playoff series? Well, I think we can't ever, you know, we, 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 I say this a lot to our players, like you have to respect everyone and fear no one, right? Like you, you have to have a respect for every team that you play. Um, you've got to know that teams are going to grow, that players are going to get better, that teams are going to get better. Um, and we had lapses in that game um, on both ends of the floor, but particularly offensively, um, you know, that we, we didn't, probably as a staff adjust quick enough to some of the things that they were doing to us. Um, you know, and, and we, we've just, we gotta have, we've got to have an intensity about us for 40 minutes. Like this is the playoffs. Like it is, you know, it's a, it's in a series, you've got to be able to give different looks. You've got to be able to, to, um, to make quality plays. You've got to be able to use your, your bench and get production. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's win or go home and, and you don't have, the margin for error that you have in, in the regular season. So uh, hopefully, you know, for us, it's learning a sense of urgency um, and, and, and playing our standard for 40 minutes. Maggie. Um, you know, it's a quick, quick turnaround, only two days in between. It's not new at the W guys have always mm-hmm. had a turnaround. What are the biggest challenges as a coach then to get your team to shift, digest the regular season finale and then kind of shift gears into the playoff mentality? Yeah, it's always the same. It's the the combination of of rest, especially for veteran teams, um, and prep. You know, I, I think um, you know, certainly Indiana is a different team um, than you know, but we've seen them in the second half. Um, you know, and for us, just uh, making sure that that we balance out those two things and that we're able to 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 give them you know the looks that we want um, on both ends of the floor that we're able to lock in you know as a group and really having those conversations like. Um, you know, got, like we got to be locked in. We got to be ready to go. Like we've got to approach our film session um, and our practice or, and, and, and or walk through whatever it ends up being. Um, if it's not physically taxing mentally, you got to be sharp. You know, we can't, we can't have, we don't have time to have letdowns. Um, and so just reiterating that to them, but they're a veteran group, you know, again, it's like they, they get it. Um, they get to, they get where we are. Um, they get what's at stake. Uh, for both of you. Indiana coming to town on Sunday. Obviously, there's going to be some added attention because of Caitlin Clark. Mm-hmm. Any added pressure to facing them in the first round? I mean, I think it's pressure just in general because it's the playoffs and these games are crucial. Um, it's a three game series and we need to win, honestly. But uh, it's exciting to see that we play them and we play them our first game too. So it's going to be a full circle. It's going to mm-hmm. be fun. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Uh, going off of what Ty said, just kind of like that full circle moment, just looking back at the, at the beginning of the season to now. And I think us just reflecting on our season, I think as a team, we've come so far. And I think we're just really excited to really put that together just for a playoff run.